it is it's still, it's still ongoing. And we are open, we believe in alliances, we keep on building bridges with all actors who want to see uh, the building of capabilities to remove this uh, regime. So we've been in contact with the DP, we've been in contact with Gemma, we've been in contact with the people power. We want to build bridges with the FDC, we hope they'll be forthcoming. We have no problem in creating the necessary um, uh, broad formations so that we can put our capabilities together and focus them on regime change. As many as there are, I've just uh, indicated to you earlier on that look at the Democratic Party of America. And now I think about, I hear they may be moving towards about 20 or 30 candidates. So they go out, they test themselves in the field, eventually they go into an internal electoral process, they get one. But in a case where you've got many forces, like in this case, People Power, DP, New Formation, we will uh, uh, be launching our name at a later point, is FDC. The, mo the most important thing, as far as I'm concerned, is to ensure that we build our capabilities. And then at uh, an appropriate time, we will sit down and do analysis of what is necessary to be done. If we find that it is necessary and uh, uh, strategic to have one candidate then we'll have to go through processes of getting one candidate and then we put our capabilities behind that candidate. It doesn't matter who that candidate will be, in as far as I'm concerned. So as many as want can come out and declare. I don't see it. Basically, we want to change the culture of politics in this country. Besides all the other things which we have talked about. We've talked about democracy, we've talked about uh, uh, accountability, zero tolerance corruption, uh, issues of justice, basically good governance uh, principles. Developing a country uh, on a firm foundation of uh, ensuring that um, all individuals, all citizens are included in the development process. All parties will talk about the things that we talk about, or the things we'll be talking about. And since independence, all parties have talked about that when it comes to uh, policy options. However, one of the key things that we want to concentrate on, even as we do the things that parties do in the traditional role, is to change the nature of politics in this country. Because however well formulated the policy positions that you eventually launch, launch if we don't have a critical number of leaders who ensure that the manner in which power is exercised, that you must engage and focus on training of leaders for mindset change, so that at the end of the day, all things which are written, all things which are talked about, the most critical thing is when it comes to implementation. So the practices is where we've always had a problem. UPC had a problem when it came to practice. They would say one thing, but they would contradict the practices. Of course, in a means time, we can't say anything because it was a military regime. UNRF, same thing happened. General Seveni, 30 years, we were part of, of, the, of the NRM uh, formation at that time. And the things I'm talking about, there was contention right from 81 until the time when we separated. At the point of separation, the key thing was the problem of saying one thing and doing another. And we said, no, we told the country we're going to do one, two, three, four. If the practices are in conflict with what we say, this is a parting point. So we left the structures with him, but we stayed with the objectives. The practices are very, very important. That's one key area that we want to concentrate on training and preparing a critical number of leaders who will be consistent, not only in what we talk about, but also in what we do. The moment you get any party which does that and prepares leaders, one generation after another, so when you have one generation leaving, the next generation is similarly trained and positioned to continue doing things in a consistent way, in a predictable way. That's the key solution in the problems that we have in this country. So it's an area that we are going to put a lot of focus on. And I believe it is going to differentiate us. 
not only in our current times, but as a departure from the political history of our country. Thank you.